Good morning. Welcome to Pastor John's Fireside Chat. It is Thursday, July 15th. I hope that you're doing well. Yesterday, I, I had a funeral. A lady was in her 90s and uh, had just turned 90 and, and she went to be with the Lord, but she'd walked with the Lord for a long time. And it got me thinking about death. When you're doing a funeral, you can't help but think about death. And in my devotions, I was reading this section and I just want to share some thoughts from Jesus. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. Jesus replied, Man, who appointed me a judge or an arbiter between you? Then he said to them, Watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. A man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. And he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man produced a good crop. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of good things laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get which you prepared for yourself. This is how it will be with anyone who stores up things for himself, but is not rich toward God. You know, from the, the world's point of view, we might have looked at this certain rich man and said something like, wow, what a success. What a planner. What a business guy. This is someone to emulate. This is a model for life. That's what we might say. What does God say? You fool. His commentary is not only 180 degrees different from our commentary, but it is spot on because what this guy was doing was living for the temporary. Again, I did that funeral yesterday and you can't help but ask the question, what are you living for? What is your purpose here? What are you striving to accomplish with the time that God has given you? What are you going to do with that? It's my prayer for me and for you that we won't live for what is simply temporal because the four-word commentary that Jesus says is that's the fool who does that. May we be wise and realize that we are called, first of all, to be rich toward God who is incredibly rich in love and forgiveness toward us. And because we are rich toward God, we are freed not to hoard what we have and to make it all about me, but to freely give it away for the glory of the Lord and for the good of other people. Have a great day in the Lord.